All right, this is practice problem number two. I'm going to click on New. I'm going to click on Standard IPT, Create. And the first thing I always do is I go home. So I see my isometric cube. Plus sign next to Origin is next. And on this one, I'm also going to sketch on the right side plane. So I'm going to pick YZ, Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to sketch that angled surface that would be the right view if you guys were uh, drawn this by hand. So let's do that right side view. It's going to look like this. Little angled surface going on here. Just keep the line straight. Jose's over there talking, so I'm going to yell at him. And now he's immortalized on this video forever. Putting in the dimensions, 1.5 there, 1.5 there. For here, it's one, it's 0.25. I'm going to use my magnifying glass to put everything back on the screen so I can see it. And then the top part here is 0.5. I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude. This part, I am going to work from the, the part closest to me towards the back. So from where I'm looking at this drawing, this part needs to be extruded 0.75. Okay, and now I'm going to sketch on the back side of it. Start 2D sketch. I'm going to use project cut edges again. And I'm just going to draw a line to give me that slot that appears in the middle of this thing. I'm going to dimension that line from this front piece back 0.75 because that's the depth the drawing gives me. And I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to go home so you guys can uh, we'll rotate it a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to extrude. And I need to select which part I want to extrude. This part here is negative space. There's nothing there. So I am going to just select this back part. And if it's being a booger, sometimes zooming up on it will solve that problem. So there we go. It also goes 0.75. And now I'm going to sketch on this surface right here. So start 2D sketch click, use project cut edges and save yourself some work, click line, connect this line, basically you're just tracing over the first um, extrusion that you made, and we're going to get that line too, finish the sketch, and now I'm going to move this out, so I'm going to go extrude, I want this and I want this, 0.75, tell it OK, go home, and it should look just like it does in the picture. I'm going to put a color on it. We'll do smooth dark forest green. And I'm going to save it. And it's going in that practice folder. And I'm going to name it green thing. And once again, we're going to go new and put it on project lead the way A. So project name is once again practice. Your name, please type your actual name. The date, file name, big ugly green thing. Click on base. Here's your front front view. Here's your top view, here's your side view, and there's your ISO. Right click to create. Once again, make sure they're kind of evenly spaced. Double click on the top one, give it some color, save it, file, save as, make sure it's in practice, save, and you guys can print it to the 5430.